Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to move, scale, rotate, and duplicate the objects. So, first of all, we will create an object here. So, in order to create, we will press Shift A so that you will get an add menu. So, from mesh, we can create any one of the object. So, for example, I will create a cone here. So, now first, if we want to move this object, we need to select this object and we need to press G. And now after pressing G, just you need to move the mouse around wherever you want to place the object here. So for example, if you move up and down, the object will go up and down. If you move the mouse left and right, it will go around the X axis. And if you move in this way, it will move around the Y axis. So whatever the direction you want to move, we can move this mouse so that we can uh, place the object wherever you want. So for example, suppose if you want to place an object here and if you left click, then it will release the object here. Okay, so just we need to select the object, press G and just we can move mouse around and left click to release the object. Now in order to scale, we need to select the object and press S so that we can drag the mouse left and right to scale the object here. And also scale depends on the positions of the mouse pointer from where you are clicking the shortcut. For example, if you are selecting the object and if you are placing the mouse pointer here and if you press S, you can scale with a little bit of value. See, slowly it is scaling. For example, suppose if you place the mouse here and if you press S, so you can scale very fast. And also if you want to rotate, we need to select the object and we have to press R. And now we need to move the mouse around from whatever the angle you want to rotate. And also in when you are using this shortcut, it depends on the view from where you are watching. Means like suppose if you watching from here and if you press R, then it will rotate in this angle here. So if you want to move, we have to select the object and press G and you can move around. And if you want to scale, then you have to press S and you can scale and suppose if you want to rotate we need to press r so that we can able to rotate the object here and one thing now suppose if you want to move in any particular axis for example if you want to move only in the x axis or for example if you want to move only in the y axis so for that what we need to do is we need to select the object and the shortcut we have to press g and after that you need to press x so that we can move only in the x direction. So once again, I will repeat. We need to select the object. You have to press and release the G. And now, now see it is moving all around the scene. Now if you hold X so that we can move only in the X axis. Suppose if you are selecting Y, then we can move only in the Y axis. And if you press Z, then we can move only in the Z axis. So in this way, we can move the object in the selected axis here. So select G and press X or Y, whatever the direction you want to move. Now, same for the rotation. So if you want to rotate in X axis or Y axis or Z axis, same, you have to select the object. You need to press R. And now it is rotating in all the axes. Now, if you press X, now it will rotate only in the X axis. So, what the thing is, no need of holding the X. Actually, if you press X, it will lock the axis. So, only by using the mouse pointer, you can able to rotate. And if you want to rotate in Y axis, you have to press Y so that now it will rotate in the Y axis. And if you press Z, then it will rotate in the Z axis. But what the thing is, if you want to apply the changes first after rotating, let's say if I rotate in the X axis and if you want to apply this change, then you have to left click again so that it will apply the changes. After that, if you want to rotate in any other axis, you can select R and again you can press Y so that you can rotate in the Y axis. And same for the scale. So in order to scale only in the particular axis, we need to select the object and we need to press S. And now if you want to scale only in the X axis, you need to press and release the X so that we can scale only in the X axis. And now if you want to apply this, you have to left click again 
And again, if you want to scale in the Y axis, again, you have to press S and Y so that we can scale around the Y axis. So in this way, we can scale, rotate the object in the specific axis. And now we will see how to duplicate the object. So in order to duplicate this object, we need to select the object and we have to press Shift D so that now we can able to duplicate. Now, if you want to release, just you need to left click so that it will create the object wherever you place the mouse pointer here. And also suppose if you want to duplicate the object and if you want to move only in the particular axis, first we need to press Shift D so that it will duplicate. And if you hold X, so that we can move the duplicate object only in the X axis. So once again, so you have to press Shift D for duplicate. So see Shift D. Now it has been duplicated. Now if you want to move only in the Z axis, then we can hold Z so that we can move the duplicated object in the Z axis. And left click to release. So now in this way, we can manipulate this object like we can rotate scale and move. And suppose if you want to transform this object with a specific value, then as I said in the previous video, suppose if you select this object and if you press N, N for name. So if you press N, it will open some transform options for this object here. So by using this, we can move the object only in the specific direction. Suppose if you want to move the object uh, like in five meters, then we can type five so that the object will move in the five meters here. So in this way, we can able to rotate. So now if you want to scale, you can use this X axis, Y axis and Z axis here. And this also will be helpful uh, when you want to place the object in the certain distance. And here you can see the dimensions X, Y and Z. So in this way, we can transform this object by using this option like by pressing N. Again, if you press N, then it will close. Again, if you press N, it will open again. So that's it for this video. So in the next video, we are going to see how to edit the objects. So see you in the next video.